Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. And uh, in this part of Laravel, we will learn how we can install Laravel and create Laravel application. Yes, both are the different thing, and I will tell you how we can uh, install Laravel and how we can create a Laravel application. And uh, let's start with the points of this video. First of all, we must have to check that Composer is installed or not in our system. If this is installed, then that's great. And if the if the Composer is not installed, you can watch our previous video. Link is given in the description box as well as in the playlist also. After that, we will install Laravel globally. Globally means we have to just Laravel installed only once in our system. And after that, whenever you will create a new Laravel application or project, you can just create the Laravel application. You don't need to install Laravel again. And one more thing, you don't need to care about the folder. You can install it in any folder of your system. It will install globally automatically, right? And after that, you can create application in any folder in any drive. And that will work perfectly. And once our application is created, after that, uh, we will start our application and check that everything is working fine or not. And this is my Instagram account if you want to follow me there. So now let's uh, open the command line and simply put here CMD and here just check that composer. And if after that command, if uh, it will provide that composer version and help uh, these helping command, that means composer in installed in our your system and now you can install laravel also and if it will gives uh, i'm just making the misspell of this composer so that i can show you the error if you find that composer it is not recognized as an internal or external command that means composer in is not installed your system and you can watch our previous video link is given in the description box as i told you so after that, what do you need to do? You have to just install the Laravel and this is also pretty simple and easy. Just simply put here composer. Oh, composer is already printed there. Just put here global. A composer will actually help to install uh, Laravel. Global means we are installing our package globally after that require Required means we are installing something whenever we are just installing something with the npm that time we have to put our npm install and here we have to provide our composer require and then put your, your package name which is laravel installer and just hit enter and after that you will find that it will take a moment to install laravel in your system this is perfectly fine and now you can just simply put here laravel command and it will just give some option with the uh, version name and all and again if we, it will tell that uh, laravel is not recognized as internal or external command that means laravel is not installed in your system right so i am just closing this command line and i am just going to in laravel tut folder so that we can create our laravel application keep in mind that when you are installing laravel you have to do it only once but when you want to create a new laravel application in your system you have to create it every time so let's say i just installed uh, laravel once in my system and i created the application next time i don't need to install uh, laravel in my system because this is already installed i just need to create my new project or new uh, application and now let's simply put here laravel new and uh, your project name so let me put here blog 9 you can put any name to that your project or your application it doesn't matter but i just i'm putting here laravel 9 because current version of laravel is 9 and again it will take take a moment to just install install all these packages and it will create a folder here and here in the upcoming video we will check that uh, what is the files and folder structure of laravel then we will go with the basic things we will create controller model view then we will go with the intermediate and advanced thing also and within that time if this is installing i i'm just going to i'm requesting you to just subscribe my channel like this video and provide feedback in comment box and it will actually really support me and encourage me to create more videos regarding 
so great laravel is installed now so now we have to check that this is working fine or not and for that we have to just start it and most of the developer actually made a mistake make a mistake that they do not enter in the folder that they are created they just run the command only on the uh, root directory right so just go to the uh, your project folder and now simply run here php artisan serve and now uh, you can see that your project is running on the local host and local host address and 8000 port so now you can see that your project is still working fine that's great and uh, in uh, next video i will tell you how we can make our first change make our first change and how we can do the basic things and thank you so much and please don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video and provide your valuable feedbacks in comment box thank you for your time